what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of tactical talks this video is going to be um pretty special to me only because this is a sponsored video and what i mean by that is this is not an official sponsor but everything in this video or at least the new items in this video that you guys are going to see are brought to you by my patreon squad so for those of you who don't know who pa what patreon is it is a way to help me and help the channel it's kind of help, a way to help growth, a way to support the channel. Um, I'm not saying for anybody to go over there and, and donate. If you want to, you feel like you need to or you would like to, the link is down in the description below. But I have some guys on Patreon that really support what I do here on the channel. And they're Patreon members. Um, in being a Patreon member, these guys get pictures, videos, different things like that before everybody else. And they get uh, Patreon exclusives. And what I mean by that is I've given away different hats. I've done some giveaways with holsters and stuff like that. Now, Patreon has gotten a little bit weird as far as doing giveaways. But I do them anyways. And I make sure that these guys are kind of kept in the loop about everything that's going on. And even some stuff behind the scenes. And then, like I said, they get exclusive stuff. Whether it's content and merchandise. Um, either before everybody else. Or they even get stuff that people... You know that my normal watchers don't uh, don't get so with that being said this video was brought to you by patreon at least my patreon squad um, and I want to say thank you to those guys over there everything that you guys do and donate and everything and, and believing in the channel is not going unnoticed um, I'm sure some of you probably wonder like where does that money go what about this what about that and some of that has been invested in uh, cameras for the channel, microphones to record with, different lights to record with, um, ammunition so that whenever we do go to the range, that's what I'm using to test a bunch of these guns and do reviews. Um, the product that we're going to be talking about in this video was bought with Patreon money. All the money that is coming in from Patreon goes right back into the channel. It's not something that I'm just pocketing and being like, well, thanks guys. It goes right back into the channel to continue to bring you guys content, and it's just my way of saying thank you. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that the Patreon members are getting, um, just for being Patreon members. Some of my Patreons already have this, other ones not yet. For those of you who don't know, my new subscribers, um, I call my subscribers the Wolf Pack because of my last name. My last name translated means Village of Wolves. So my, my subscribers are the Wolf Pack. So this is a custom Wolfpack hat. My sub, uh, my Patreon squad got those and is getting those. If you haven't already received yours, there's stuff in the mail right now. I got a bunch of stuff sent out the first time, and then I have another batch going out. The next thing that my Patreon members got is the water bottle. These are for sale, but Patreon members got them for free. It's got the Wolfhead logo on there. It says Wolfpack, and then down at the bottom it has the channel name on there. And then another thing that they're that they're getting, um, this is kind of the latest and greatest. If you go on my Teespring account for all of my merch, this shirt is only available in black and white. And a lot of my shirts are available in black. And I know a lot of us wear black all the time. So I made it just a little bit different. But this is the latest Wolfpack design shirt. Obviously, it says Wolfpack. It's got the Wolfhead logo. This shirt I actually made myself. And I'm going to be making a lot of the merchandise myself moving forward. I wanted to find a way to brand my clothing so that people know this is what it's from, but I didn't want to have my name just written all over it, have it look tacky, or, or make it like something that you guys wouldn't want to wear. So I came up with the design. My original channel name is JLV86. It's just my initials and then the year I was born. So this has the JLV in there with the star, and then it has the wreath around it. So that's on the back. Big design on the front. And then for the shirts that we have with big designs on the back, we're going to move that design over to one of the shoulders. Kind of similar to a shirt that I'm wearing right now. It'll have a shoulder logo. But I wanted to take the time out in the beginning of this video to say thank you to my Patreon squad. You guys are getting this stuff soon if you haven't already got it. There's been a little bit of delay trying to get everything out there. But you guys are getting that. And I definitely appreciate everything you guys are doing. So moving on into the video. Well... For those of you who have seen my other videos, I have a Glock 17C Gen 4 that I went ahead and added a bunch of stuff to. I got a CMC trigger, I got a magwell, um, 
It's got a rear plate on it to mount an optic with a Vortex Viper on it. It's got Zev technology, um, trigger connect. It's got a Strike Industries G4 compensator on the front of it. So it's actually a double compensated pistol. It's got the Talon grip wrap around it. Uh, what else? I think that's it that I can think of. It's got some Zev technologies, uh, mag releases, different parts like that that have been upgraded. And I originally planned on putting that gun together as a kind of a competition style gun so I can go out and practice with, play with. It was my first red dot on a pistol. And I thought it would be something that was really cool to just go out and mess with. And I do go out and shoot it. I've carried it a lot. I'm comfortable with it. It took a small adjustment period as far as bringing the gun up, you know, level so that whenever I'm looking through that red dot, I can see it easier. I'm just so used to kind of coming up at an angle just the way that I've trained my entire life. But I had that gun sitting there and I realized that I really don't carry that gun a lot. And even though I built it as kind of a racing gun or a competition style gun, I just didn't have time and I wasn't going to go out and actually do competition style shooting as much as I wanted to. So the Patreon squad came through and I, I found some discounts and stuff like that. And I'm going to make another video explaining how I came across this product and how much I paid for this product. So be looking for that in the near future. This video is just going to be showing it. It's going to be my initial thoughts on this product. I have not gone out to shoot it because I literally just got this in today, um, the time of shooting this video. So without further ado, I now own the CAA MCK, the micro conversion kit. Um, I can tell you right now, this thing feels amazing. Right now it has my Glock 17 in it. The optic that's on top, like I stated a minute ago, is a Vortex Viper that was mounted on the pistol. I took the plate off the slide and then used the Picatinny adapter and just moved that up. And then the light that's on there is the TLR1 that was mounted on the pistol. Obviously just took that off, mounted that up here on the side. There is a magazine inserted, nothing in the chamber. Um, I'm not going to sit here and go through the installation, the unboxing, all that kind of stuff. There's plenty of videos out there for you guys to check out. But I wanted to show you guys this. One, to show you guys that I got it and there's going to be more videos coming soon. As of right now, this has been turned into my new bedside gun. Um, I've gone through so many different things, whether it be shotguns, whether it be pistols, whether it be AR pistols, um, ARs, just so many different options and I've gone through and I think right now this is my new favorite and this is what I'm going to be keeping bedside nine millimeter I have the uh, this is a 17 round mag I want to say this is a plus five if I'm not mistaken from uh, I just lost my what is it called Talon no not Talon Terran Tactical there we go I don't know where my head's at. Terran Tactical plus five. And then this one is the Rainier Arms. It's supposed to be, I think, a plus five, but it's really only like a plus two. It's a 3D printed um, mag extension that I'm not a big fan of, but it works. It just isn't what I originally thought it was going to be. But anyways, this has an extra mag holder, which is really tight. Just because, like I said, this thing's brand new. I just got it in today. The arm brace because this isn't a buttstock the arm brace folds over and sits like this so essentially i can put this in a backpack um, i'm just going to put this magazine in here so you guys can see the full size of it the way i'm going to be carrying it but this can fit into a backpack it can fit into a messenger bag it can fit under my seat in my truck i mean it's just so compact um it's just really really nice now they sell finger stops and the hand stops up here the way this is set up as far as your grip goes, I can put my finger here, put another finger there, and then everything else just kind of wraps up. So it's pretty comfortable to hold. I can still access the light with my thumb right here. Not very hard to do. Uh, like I said, the red dot's up there at the top. Fairly comfortable when I come up. This is an arm brace, but technically I can shoulder it, so that's why I had it set up the way that I did as far as showing you guys. I wasn't too sure initially because this Glock is a 17C and it's compensated, if it was going to cause any issues. Now, like I said, I have not shot it, but everything that I've looked at, reviews and read, because these ports right here are open on the side, 
that's where the gases are going to be shooting out. So it should not be an issue as far as this being a compensated gun. Not all the gases are just getting trapped in here, so it's not going to build up dirtier. Now, these things do get very dirty. For those of you that don't know or haven't seen any videos on these, they get very dirty when you start shooting because this is a barrel shroud. These are not caliber specific, so the round essentially just travels through this. Again, it's not an extension of your barrel. It's just traveling through there, so all those gases will push out one up here at the top because mine's compensated but normally between the barrel and the barrel shroud a bunch of gases get expelled through there your glock ends up getting dirty the whole kit ends up getting dirty on the inside it's just kind of the price you pay to have something like this now i got this thing very very cheap and like i said in my next video i'm going to be talking about prices and different stuff like that but i will show i will tell you that on CAA's website, I believe it's CAAgear.com. They sell these kits for right around $320 to $350. We didn't pay that much. But even if it was that much, this is definitely, in my opinion, a great buy just because of what it is. It gives you more points of contact on this pistol. Um, it's still a very small package, very easy to maneuver. I've been doing some like house clearing drills here in the house, just something to kind of practice with. It's very nice just because, you know, I'm an AR guy, so the way I was taught was instead of trying to use finger stuff, is I use my whole palm to rack back on that charging handle. And this is set up to where it's ambidextrous as far as charging handle goes, so whether you're right or left-handed shooter, you can just come up and then just pull back, boom, you're ready to go. This magazine sitting here, these are just the stock magazines with mag extensions. But if you wanted to, I mean, you can run your 30 round mags, you can run drums on this. Everything is going to fit. Um, this is not a vertical grip. That's not what it was designed for. It's just the magazine sticking out. So it's still in compliance, you know, with all rules and regulations, everything. This is still considered a pistol. Like I said, it has the brace on the back. As far as this thing being folded, I kind of wish that it was easier to fire while it was still folded. But I'm really not that upset. I really don't think I'm going to be firing it folded anyways. I just thought it was it would be kind of a cool little extra. Um, as far as the version on this, there's, I believe there's like four generations. If I, everything I saw was correct. This is the latest and greatest. And this is just the basic kit. Like I said, CAA also has a light kit that comes in here. Or you can get the laser. They have their own flip-up sights. They have their own uh, QD sling mount back here. They have the thumb stops, thumb guards up here. Um, they actually make their own red dot now, so they've come a long way as far as the product itself and everything they're offering for the product, but it really is next to nothing as far as time to put this thing in, take this thing out, and I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do it. If you figure it out from what I'm doing, then that's on you, but that's how quick it is to take the Glock out of the kit. Um, like I said, it's clear. This is kind of back to stock, back to nothing. If I decide that I want to have the pistol out and just fire the pistol or just carry the pistol, I can. What I was doing before was I was carrying either like an AR pistol in my truck or I'd carry my sub 2000, you know, and I would have my Glock 22 and then a sub 2000 chambered in 40 in my truck so that the mags were interchangeable. I could shoot that Glock 22 if something happened where I needed to reach out a little bit farther, then I can go and grab the Sub-2000, reach out a little bit farther, still utilizing the same mags all the way through. The cool thing about this is I can essentially do the same thing, leave this in my truck and not feel as bad or not have to worry as much as, as far as this sitting in my truck because this is not a firearm. I don't have to worry about somebody stealing a firearm now. Yes, there's a few hundred dollars invested in this thing altogether, but I'd much rather somebody steal this out of my truck as opposed to an actual firearm that's going to cause damage. So if this stays in my truck and, you know, something happens where I feel like, hey, my pistol's not going to cut it. I want something with a little bit more stabilization so I can actually get the round out there a little bit farther, ac more accurately. Then I can go to the truck. Lighting is not perfect in here, but I can go to the truck, line this thing up, get that back in there, push that forward, and just like that, we're in the fight with more points of contact and a little bit more accurate shooting. So instead of having multiple guns, I can just carry this one gun and this kit. 
I've been seeing a lot of videos with guys comparing these kits to like the CZ Scorpions and different things like that. And I can tell you, I've never shot the CZ Scorpion, but the videos were fairly accurate as far as comparing what these products do. Now again, the two biggest things for me, one being the selling point, the CZ Scorpions are going to be somewhere around $1,000 and up. Again, this full price is about $350. You can find deals the way I did and you don't pay the 350 and essentially it's the same thing. Um, the cool thing about this kit is this thing, I know for sure the guns that fit in there are Glock 19, the 19X, the 17, um, the 23, the 22. It's just so versatile as far as being able to put different guns in here because it's not caliber specific. It's just the size of the gun specific. You have more options with this for a lot less money than that CZ Scorpion. Whatever you get that CZ Scorpion chambered in, I mean, that's what you're shooting and that's it. And again, I have the option to where if I decide I don't need the entire kit, I can pop the gun out. You guys saw how quick that was. And I mean, that's with no practice. I just got it today, like I said. After some practice, putting this thing in, taking it out, I, I'll get a little bit quicker. But you guys saw how quick it was. I can pull it out and then just roll to just the pistol, you know. So I can tell you guys, I'm very, very excited about this thing. As far as the build quality, it's like a uh, polymer plastic, but I mean, sitting here squeezing parts and you know messing with the parts, nothing is budging. It's not. It doesn't feel cheaply made by any means. It comes with everything you need. Um, it has the rubberized back, you know, arm brace. So as far as that being on your arm, it does not hurt. It's not stabbing. Nothing. There's. It has a little bit of give to it. Allows you to move side to side, move around. So I'm assuming when you're firing, it's going to be a lot more comfortable, you know, as compared to just a hard, you know, brace or a hard buttstock if you had the uh, the SBR version of it. But again, this video is to show you guys my latest and greatest toy. We're going to be taking this thing out very soon. I have something else coming in the mail that I might wait for before we go out and shoot this thing. But... I'm very excited about this thing. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. And the Patreon squad made that happen. So thank you guys. You guys are going to be getting these things. Like I said, some of you have already gotten it. Some of you, it's in the mail. So you're going to be getting it very, very soon. But I cannot say thank you enough. If you guys decide that you want to be part of the Patreon squad, check the links down below. Um, there's just a lot going on with the channel. I'm very grateful for everything that, that comes my way and everything that you guys do for the channel and supporting me. And like I said, it's not like you guys go into supporting the channel and you don't get anything back. You get exclusive content, videos, pictures, updates, as well as I don't do it on a regular scheduled basis. But like I said, the merchandise, this is not available on Teespring right now. This will not be available again. This is a one time off deal. These are the only things that are available to all my other viewers. But my Patreon squad got these for free um, and they got them a lot sooner than everybody else did so thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you guys think of the CAA MCK um, previously known as the micro Roni let me know what you guys think of this what should I do to this thing next what should I add you know is this something that you guys like would you guys buy one of these and in the next video I will give you guys prices I'll tell you that it's a lot cheaper than the 350 that it's advertised for on CAA's website. So once I put that on there, are you guys going to buy one or not? Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.